The Mummy is directed by Alex Kurtzman, and it's the first installment into the Dark Universe by Universal Studios. This movie follows Nick, who is portrayed by Tom Cruise, and after awakening the Mummy, who is portrayed by Sofia Batella, he and his friend must find a magic dagger in order to stop the ancient being from completing her mission. Now, I'm always very nervous when a studio pushes a movie that is the first installment into a series and says, look how many other movies we have. Aren't you excited? Even though you haven't seen the first one, aren't you excited for these other 17 movies that we have planned? So I was a little bit skeptical going into this movie. Obviously, Universal had a lot of confidence in their product. They thought this was going to be an absolute hit, and audiences and critics were going to be so excited to see the next installment into their series. I don't think that's going to happen. And although The Mummy might not be like really outstandingly bad, it's not very good either. This film is okay at best. There's two things that I really liked about this film, Tom Cruise and Sofia Batella. Tom Cruise is having an absolute blast with this movie, the way he delivers his lines and he delivers these quips and these jokes. You can just see on his face and the way that he emotes that he thinks that he's in a very lighthearted, fun adventure movie. Same with Sofia Batella. She is all in when she is portraying this mummy character. She also looks like she's having a very fun time time, it isn't taking this movie too seriously. Unfortunately, Universal Studios did the exact opposite. They take this film so seriously. Now, I don't have a problem with a monster movie being very serious. In fact, I wanted this movie to be a horror film because we've been told the adventurous side of the mummy story with the Brendan Fraser movies, which I actually do quite enjoy on the level of a guilty pleasure. So leaving this film, I was ultimately more confused than anything. If you are going to start a franchise, why would you start with a movie that is so similar to ones that came before it? There are so many mummy movies about an undead creature that rises from the dead and is uh, looking amongst the living trying to find a substitute for somebody that was close in their lives before they had passed away and they're trying to kind of sacrifice them into being somebody that they love. That happens more times than it should in these mummy movies and it's exactly Exactly what happens in this movie. They try to have the best of both worlds because they try to have the horror in this film while also having that lighthearted adventure feel to it. Unfortunately, the horror in this movie is so boring. There's a ton of jump scares. The really only scares that they have to offer in this movie are old creepy skeletons are chasing Tom Cruise. Not only that, but this film spends such an inexcusably large portion of its runtime dedicated to universe building. So much so, in fact, that it actually kind of reminds me of another movie that came out. Who directed this again? Alex Kurtzman? What else has he worked on? Oh, sir, did you learn nothing? One of the most criticized things in that movie is the fact that it spends so much time universe building. There's a character that walks down a hallway and sees a bunch of future characters, their gear in jars. And what does this movie do? Tom Cruise's character is walking down a hallway and there are jars of other monsters in this universe. I was really blown away that this genius did the exact same thing twice. One of the other really big problems with this film is it really doesn't feel like a movie that anybody had the desire to make. It feels like a bunch of rich businessmen got together and were like, hey, we have the rights to these characters, we might as well use them, and Marvel's doing fantastic, so why don't we just do what they're doing? except with monsters. In most franchises, whether it be Lord of the Rings or Star Trek or Star Wars or Marvel or DC or anything, they typically mostly have the same tone throughout them. And with the films that they have upcoming like Dracula and Frankenstein and The Creature from the Black Lagoon and The Invisible Man and Dr. Jackal, I don't really want this tone in those movies at all. We got those movies. We got the Frankenstein with all the action. We got the Dracula with all the action. And guess what? They both sucked. Overall, even though The Mummy might not be offensively terrible, it's very inexcusably bland. I really didn't feel like anybody involved with this movie really wanted anything to do with it besides the two leads. Instead, most of the things that I felt coming out of this movie were that Universal Studios was more focused on universe building 
building than good storytelling. I think I'm just kind of sick of the cinematic universe and everything has to be a shared universe. Why can't we just leave those to the superhero films? Because that's what they've been doing for decades now. Like what's the goal here? Are we going to have Frankenstein and the creature from the Black Lagoon and the mummy like team up and fight? I don't like bad guys? Like what are you guys really aiming for? So did you guys see the mummy? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click on the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movies and related things. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.